Namaste and Hello everyone. This is episode 3 of the Decoding Ancient Script Sequel. What is the hidden message behind the ancient script? Are these scripts only depict a folk tales or something else? Let us decode Shiva Tandav Stotra. What are the ancient scripts? trying to tell us are the scripts just detailing symbolism as generally perceived or trying to tell us something more scientific in nature We need to explore with an open mind. The words of this ancient script are alluding more of astronomical landscape. I think it is important to put it in the right context. In the first episode we found that verse 1 describes about the intrinsic properties of the black hole. In the second episode we found that verse 2 illustrating about the activities happening near the peripheral or pan of the black hole. so we can figure out some patterns in these descriptions from the innermost part we are moving towards the outer domain here we are trying to decode verse 3 of the shiva tandava stotram let us first see the words धराधरेन्द्र नंदनी विलास बंधु बंधुर स्फुरत गंत सतति प्रमोद मान मानसे कृपा कटाक्ष धोरणी निरुद्ध दुर्धरापदी क्वचिचिदंबरे मनो विनोद मेतु वस्तु I found verse 3 to be trickier than the previous two verses because a new concept is introduced here In order to decode verse 3 it will be very useful to browse through some words used here in and their corresponding meanings This will help us to reveal some parts of the words. Dhara means ground or planet. Dharendra controller. Nandini 
complementary energy required to start life the word nandini is perhaps the center pillar of this verse if we understand this word nicely then it will require less effort to grasp the meaning of the other terms used so let us first clarify this term before we go ahead to understand this let us consider an electric circuit here an electric current e is flowing upwards due to the voltage difference this will induce magnetic field b around the current e the direction of current flow and magnetic field are generally defined by the right hand rule where the thumb is the electric current and the other fingers perpendicular to the thumb define the direction of the magnetic field lines the electric current and magnetic field coexist in a similar manner this ancient script describes the dominant energy source as shiva and the complementary source of energy as nandini the life energy shiva and nandini coexist the same hypothesis can be extended to the structure of the shiva linga where the standing structure upwards defines the primal or dominant energy and the base structure defines the complementary or secondary energy source the primal energy is more of a masculine nature and the complementary energy is of a feminine type these two cosmic energies are required to initiate a life therefore the shiva lingam basically depicts the primal source of energy and the secondary source of energy both these energies live side by side this phenomenon is symbolically illustrated as ardha narishwara now let us continue with the sanskrit words and their meanings vilas manifestation bandhu bond bandhura pleasant sphura throbbing digand directions or horizon santati children or expansion pramod excessive joy man pride manase illusion or imagination krupa grace kataksh artful dhorani an uninterrupted series niruddha filled with or confined durdhara unstoppable apada turbulent kwachid at any stage or anywhere digambare piva mano 
from mind or my mind vinodan amuse me to me or for me to and or but was to becoming light or enlightened ni within let us understand the broader picture of words 3 with the help of an illustration planets or stars are defining the word dhara children that is newly born planets or stars are throbbing in all directions defining surat diganta santati the astronomical objects are controlled by this energy that is dharendra nandani the complementary energy manifests a pleasant bond with them that is supporting the movement or life which is defining vilas bandhu bandhura let us see a simple illustration of verse 3 before giving the proper description of it once the stars or planets move away from the center pen they start to cool down and life begins the complementary energy is driving these astronomical events by helping in spinning planets and rotating around a mother star from the larger life such as stars to smaller life such as humans the same energy is thriving within and around the complementary energy is a cause of the life for the astronomical objects yet she is detached from everyone that is remain in the piva form the complementary life energy is more of feminine nature and it is providing attributes such as love emotions care or feelings for animate objects the dominant or primal life energy is more masculine and represent survival attributes such as hard work performing tasks striving and so on now let us see the proper description following the words of verse 3 
धरा धरेंद्र नंदनी विलास बंधु बंधुर स्फुरत दिगंत संतति दिस कम डाउन टू द कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री एनर्जी कंट्रोलिंग एंड सपोर्टिंग द प्लैनेट्स मैनिफेस्ट अ प्लेजेंट बॉन्ड विद हर चिल्ड्रन दैट इज द न्यूली बॉर्न प्लैनेट्स और स्टार्स Freshly born planets or stars are throbbing in all possible directions with the illusion of excessive joy and pride. Pramod man manase krupa kataksh dhorani niruddh durdara padi kwachit chidambare. This line comes down to the complementary energy is turbulent unstoppable and filled with an uninterrupted series of artful grace for the newly created astronomical objects at any stage or anywhere she exists in her pure form mano vinod me tu vastuni the same energy is enlightened within me and amusing my mind